Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Have a video here, update on the 2004 Prius. Uh, the hybrid battery has been put back in. We're gonna go over that. Also wanna touch on a few things within the Dr. Prius app, make sure that we are good there. And then I can do a quick little run through of this car, um, showing you all the improvements I made and what has yet to be done um, on this car that has 240,000 miles. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so I'm sitting in the car here. Um, it is pretty cold, so we're going to go ahead and give it a start. It does have a slight exhaust leak, so the engine might not sound perfect. But we're going to go ahead and hit this twice and look for that triangle of death to not appear. So far, so good. All of our lights have gone off on the dash. Our pack is nice and charged. We should see that engine kick on here in a minute because, like I said, it is pretty cold. Engine sounds good. We are getting a charge. Apologize for the glare there. We are getting a charge from the engine. Very good. And then the next thing I'd want to do is take it for a drive. Not going to do that while I'm on our filming here, obviously. It's also not 156. It's uh, just past 8 o'clock. Uh, but so far, so good. I think this is a, a good test. I'm going to go ahead and give it a drive test, and then uh, we can jump into the Dr. Prius app. One just wanted to make sure that the car didn't have any warning signals. And then we'll show you a couple things in the Dr. Prius app, make sure that we're good to go. So let's go ahead and jump into the app. All right, so we are in the Dr. Prius app and I just wanted to check out a few things. The battery is pretty cold. It's 49, 50 degrees here and it's at 55% state of charge. Really what I wanted to check was the voltage difference um, between the highest module and the lowest module, lowest looking like it's number 10, highest between either number four or 14 here. The biggest question I get whenever I'm accessing the Dr. Prius app is, oh, that bar is really tall and this one's really short. That looks really bad. That's just the design of the app. Um, really, if we're looking at the voltage difference right here, which is currently 0.18, um, that is definitely within acceptable limits. Um, the highest acceptable limit would be 1.2. That's kind of when you get to start throwing those warnings. And if you remember my teardown videos, we covered that 1.2 volts is exactly the voltage of one cell within a module. So that would make sense. So if we're at 0.19, that's pretty balanced. And this is going to fluctuate depending on load or not. Right now, you can see we're currently charging at about 7 amps. Um, I have the, the heat on because it's about 30 degrees outside. But just wanted to go ahead and give this a look. This looks like it's within the acceptable range. I'm going to be driving this around for a little bit um, just to make sure that I don't get any warning signs. Uh, but this looks perfectly fine, acceptable. We'll go ahead and continue driving. Um, but I also wanted to touch on a couple of the other things that I've done to this car to get it in this condition and maybe why it's taken so long to get this final video up here. So let me go and do a quick walk around the car and show you what I've done here. All right, so quick walk around this car, uh, show you guys what I've done. So like I mentioned, this is a 2004, 234,000 miles. A um, couple of things that I've done, complete suspension rebuild on the control arm, ball joint, sway bar linkage. did that on both sides um, and now I still I just need an alignment as you can see it looks like it's just a little bit out of alignment so we'll be getting that also redid a piece on the back the trim um, for the the handle here that was not working correctly so I redid that um, and then also did a complete interior uh, clean there so you can kind of see if you can see through the window here uh, did some of the the cleaning on all the seats so it doesn't smell so so bad in there but yep so this one's going to be going up for sale looks like it's going to drive fine there's no more clunking or anything like that um, as you can hear there's a little bit of an exhaust leak um, i'll go ahead and take a look at that but looks like it's a good car uh, definitely destined for multiple miles the engine sounds really good like any other prius and we have several of them in the driveway so this will be going up for sale um, in the kansas city area I can post a link to the car uh, for sale in the description once I get it up. There's a couple more things I want to make sure are perfect with it before I list it. Uh, but yeah, hybrid battery reconditioning went really well. If there are any questions or you guys would like to do this yourself and you have any ideas or questions or want to see something, definitely leave that in the comments. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. See you guys in the next one.